We have eyeball breaking news out of Chattanooga, but this is happening in a couple of different states. FBI investigating suspicious letters containing unknown substances sent to state election offices. The FBI and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service are investigating a series of suspicious letters, some of which contain an unknown substance sent to election offices nationwide, the agency confirmed Tuesday. The Associated Press reported powdered containing packages were sent to secretaries of state and state election offices in Iowa, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Wyoming, citing officials in those states. The FBI and U.S. Postal Inspection Services are investigating a series of suspicious mailings sent to election offices in several states. The agency said in statements in, to CBS News, some of the letters contain an unknown substance and we are working closely with our law enforcement partners to respond to each incident and safety collection collecting the letters. Look, guys. When you get your mail and you bring it in, you need to wash your hands when you're done, which you should be doing that anyway. I used to work for the Postal Service years ago. I was a CCA here in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, which I was an assistant carrier. So I would work when the carriers uh, were on vacation or whatever. They're out for the day, and I would take their route, or I'd take several different pieces of different um, routes or to help if we had an overload of mail that day. And I had to take a class, right? So when you when you go to the post office and, you, and you're applying and you're going to work, that you got you 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 take these classes and you do this stuff on the computer and taking all these little tests and things like that. But uh, we had a health part, a safety and health. And the guy was like, he, <laughs> look, this was probably seven, eight, nine years ago when I did this. God, it's probably been longer. I'm, I'm so old. But um, he was emphasizing and telling us everything that they have tested on random different letters, what's on the letters. And we're talking blood, feces. It's disgusting. Okay. Drugs, you know. Back in the day, people would take uh, dollar bills and snort stuff or whatever, and it stuff's on their hands. They touch the, the letters. So you, you're get... Yeah, so I went into a little depth about that. But please always wash your hands after opening your mail. I cannot emphasize that enough. Suspicious letters came after a federal law enforcement and cybersecurity officers warned state election administrators that they face serious threats to this election se season. Blech. Election officials from background states told CBS News recently that threats are escalating ahead of November. While we've had two assassination attempts on Trump. All right, here we go. Maryland election offices deal with threats of violence, turnover concerns ahead of presidential elections. Michigan Security of State Joyce Benson, a Democrat, told CBS News, we're daily receiving threats, whether it's through voicemail, email, or social media in person. Well, isn't that special? This Democrat is receiving threats. Okay. Benson said she is personally, she is personally receiving threats, and it's escalating. Okay, this is what she said. All right. They're all rooted in lies and misinformation, which is always disappointing and sad, but at the same time, it's real, she said. That's what she said. Now look, guys. I'm not seeing any of the, the, the libtard Democrats being attempted to be assassinated. But Trump is. So let's do some further investigation. All right, here we go for segment two. Eyeball News is on the trail. Here we go.
morning, the FBI and U.S. Postal Inspection Service are investigating suspicious packages sent to election officials in more than 15 states, including Georgia. So far, no injuries have been reported. Preliminary tests show most packages contained harmless substances like flour. As early voting begins, local election offices are ramping up security measures. They say they want to protect workers and try to ensure a smooth election process. The National Association of Secretaries of State condemned these threats, emphasizing that our democracy cannot tolerate political violence. And this is a report out of Iowa in their local station. Let's the see what FBI they got. The FBI is continuing to investigate the series of suspicious letters and packages sent to election officials in several states. Now, according to ABC, election offices in at least 16 states received this suspic suspicious mail. And close to home, these events led to an evacuation of an office on Des Moines' Capitol Hill Monday. There have been no reports of any of the mailings actually posing any threat or hazardous material. The FBI is now working to figure out how many were sent out, the person or people responsible, as well as the motive. Now, the agency released a statement Tuesday advising people to, quote, exercise care in handling mail, especially from unrecognized senders. If you see something suspicious, please contact law enforcement immediately. Now, here's another news report out of Topeka, Kansas. And we're just, I'm just going around the horn and seeing what all these different local news outlets are reporting. Here we go. 27 News starts with breaking news. Good evening. I'm David George. Thanks so much for watching. We're continuing to follow some breaking news at 6. Federal authorities are investigating suspicious packages sent to the Kansas election officials. And now we're learning that more states have received something similar. In fact, 27 News reporter Drew Gill is live outside the Secretary of State's office. He's been on scene for hours now. So, Drew, what's the latest? That's right, David. We're now hearing that officials in at least five other states have received suspicious packages as well. Topeka Fire Marshal Alan Stahl tells me that around 2 o'clock today they got a call reporting two suspicious packages here, one addressed to the Secretary of State and the other to the Attorney General. The other states confirmed to have similar packages are Iowa, Nebraska, Tennessee, Wyoming, and Oklahoma. We don't know for sure where these packages came from, but for the two packages here in Kansas, Stahl tells me they contain a suspicious substance and hazmat experts here are still trying to determine what was inside. One individual working for the state had opened one of those packages. Uh, it does contain an unknown substance inside. Um, and fire crews are here along with uh, the state fire marshal's office and other authorities investigating that call right now. Now, six state workers here were exposed to the substance and are being monitored, but so far no one has had a bad reaction. The other states are still investigating as well. Oklahoma officials say packages there contained only flour, and so far no states have found the material to be harmful. And we're also now learning that the Kansas Highway Patrol has sent the second package that was received here um, to the Attorney General. That one is being sent now to the FBI, and this is a developing story. And of course, we will keep you updated as we learn more for now working for you live from downtown Topeka Drew Gill 27 news there you have it I probably could get a few more but there you go they think it's flour well it's been tested from flour on some of them but hey you never know they have to test everything it's dangerous and when these knuckleheads goofball insane people send this stuff through the mail it can contaminate other mail if it's it if it's getting processed if it made it to the process center or if it's dumped in a box one of the blue boxes i mean it's going to contaminate other mail but hopefully they've caught them they got the surrounding mail that's around it again i'm going to emphasize always wash your hands after touching the mail Definitely, definitely. Well, one of them said it looked like it, it was flour they tested, but you never know. I mean, it could be a prank, a hoax, just to disrupt the system. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just speculating. So, but they have to test everything. If something looks suspicious, or if there's a creepy liquid, or if something smells. Um, I was working at the plant once uh, years ago. And it was during Christmas time. 
Now, I don't work for the post office anymore, so I can tell you this. So, I'm, they sent me to this machine to work on, and so I go back there, and it's, it's, it processes and separates mail, but man, like I said, it was during, it was during the holiday season, right? Like November on between Amazon and the post office, they are slam, bam, right? For like from November to through January because of uh, people sending packages. And then after Christmas, people re returning packages and are using their Visa gift cards they got and they're ordering. So, it, it, you know, this, this lasts a long time. So it's crunch time. It's called prime time, right? And they are slammed, by the way, people. So you really want to get your packages out as early as possible. If you've already gotten gifts for people, send them now for Christmas. Mark at Christmas. They can set it to the side. I mean, it, it would help them, the post office out. You'll be relieved. Your package is going to get there in a, in a good amount of time. But in the plant, I come back there, and it's like it's... It smells like a skunk bomb went off. <laughs> I'm like, what is the smell? And it was very pungent and potent. But anyway, so now we have ABC Eyeball News out of Chicago. And I believe they've got an image of the letter. And let's take a look. Suspicious envelopes have been sent to election officials in at least 15 states in the past week. This is what they look like. FBI and Postal Service say the letters contain some sort of unknown substance that is now being tested. Well, it looks looking like it's got, uh, I don't know why they crossed out that bottom one. Huh, well there you have it guys. Why does that say 2023? I mean, this was posted 13 hours ago, but Looky here. What is that all about? Okay, here we go. We reached out to the Illinois State Board of Elections. They tell us they did not receive one of these letters. Last November, suspicious envelopes were sent to election offices in five states. Those were found to contain fentanyl. All right, we're following off the morning with this article dealing with voter registration. UTC participating in National Voter Registration Day. All right, here we go. Students, in collaboration with the League of Women Voters, engage with students to ask if they were registered to vote. Organizers say it's essentially important to target college students since they are often confused <laughs> about where to vote and their overall low turnout. I wonder why they're confused. Your tax dollars hard at work. When they were in the public schools, their little minds full of mush, and then mommy and daddy sent them off to college to be indoctrinated by libtard liberals. They don't know nothing. Shouldn't they have known some of this stuff before they went off to college, for Pete's sake? Just uh, engage in my opinion there. Not your average eyeball news reporter, but here we go. A lot of students actually don't know that they will actually have to go back to wherever county they are to register and actually to vote. I actually talked to a lot of students who didn't know that, and they also weren't aware that there was actually an election coming up. Believe it or not, they were asking me, what are we voting for? Elections for what? So I think a big part of this is making sure people are aware that, yes, there's an election. Hey, you should register to vote, says Michelle, a UTC student and voter registration drive organization. I am shocked, people. I'm shocked that there's gambling in the back of this establishment. Well... You saw all those young people and Kamala Harris is being paid to be bused to all her rallies. Anyway, I'm shocked. But here in Tennessee, I guess these, these students are focused on their academics and they're not paying attention to the election. 
which I guess if you're doing that, you're so busy or you're just under a rock of all the craziness that's been going on the past several months between Kamala Harris and and uh, Trump, and not to mention the the fiasco with Biden. I'm I'm shocked that uh, these kids don't know what's going on. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga is participating in National Voter Registration Day by giving students opportunities to register. The Tennessee Democracy Network said that this has brought multiple or organizations together to try and increase voter registration. Starting at 9 a.m. and ending at 4 p.m., voter registration booths will be set up across campus. Sites include Chamberlain Field, Curie Honors College, the University Center, and Heritage Plaza. Students also have the choice to snag some free stuff from these booths, along with getting information about voting rights, uh, nonpartisan, civic engagement, and local elections. Go get your free stuff. We're excited to make registration to vote simple and accessible for UTC students. National Voter Registration Day is about building a stronger democracy, and that starts with empowering young people to use their vote and participate, said President of the Tennessee Democracy Network, Kyla, Kayla Jones. What's frightening is they didn't know that an election was coming up. Apparently, they don't know that uh, America's in the toilet because of Biden. I would think they would, unless mom and daddy's just paying for everything and they're just focused on their academics, which is fine too. But this is this could be devastating. It depends on who gets a hold of them and starts filling their minds full of mush with propaganda. Parents, guys, what are you doing with these kids? They should already know. My kid's only 14. And he hears what I talk about. Yeah, he can make his own decision. I always tell him, you you walk out that door, you're grown, you go off to college, you do whatever. You, you got to make choices in your life. I can't hold your hand. But I can instill values in him. And what is right is right. And what is wrong is wrong. And you have to choose between them. Well, there you have it. Election day, people. Get out and vote. Christians, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go and vote. Are you kidding me? The statistics are against us. Why are you not voting? Anyway, get out and vote. And that is Eyeball News. <laughs>